So I just got back from fishing Massasoit State Park and this is what happened. Water is very shallow, very shallow. Oh. Scared something over there. Oh. Wasn't paying attention, there was a bass right there. So I just missed. A decent bass and how I missed it was someone was walking the trail and made me look and when I looked that fish came out from back over here and took it and um, I was not prepared at all casting is very difficult I'm gonna try up there a little bit. That's a good, good spot. Very shallow, but this is where these bass, they're, they're up in, into the cover right now. There's already fish on it. I got him, got him, got him, got him. Alrighty. And he's a decent, uh, it's not huge, but you know what? It's a fish, so it's not huge, but it's still, it's better than not catching. And I'll be honest, there's this couple right, there's another one right there, a little bit smaller. Um, so where you're gonna find these bass are gonna be in water that's heavily covered like this. They're gonna be up, really up against. All right, I'll let you go, buddy. Um, and this is running water right here. Water that is coming from the main pond and flowing through here. And when it flows through like that, the water is cooler and the water is a lot more oxygen. It has a lot more oxygen in the water and the bass love that oxygen rich water. So this is a perfect place for them to be. So I am going to stick around here a little bit and see what else I can catch. I'm not going to venture far because the rest of the pond is kind of, nothing's happening. So this is where it's at. I'll go a little bit further down and see if I can get in there and cast in there. Um, casting is very difficult in here. It's a bash right there. Good, that's a good size one. I'm gonna try to get that spot right over there. That looks awfully good for fishing. It's 
probably a bass sitting in the right over there. Definitely. Okay. Let me move on down a little bit. This spot's going to be even more challenging. See how challenging this is going to be, but I'm, will, I'm willing to get in there. It's a good spot, actually. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to cast it way out there. There's no need to. There's already a fish on it. There's already a fish on it. Let's see. It's not, I don't think it's that big. Yeah, it was a couple of hits. It was pretty quick. Pretty quick. So something small. Might have been sunfish. The sunfish seem to like the the swivel that I have. Okay. Yeah, the sunfish tend to peck at that swivel. Yeah, casting is very challenging over here. Got to keep it low and try to get some speed behind it to get it out there a little bit. Feel pretty good about the spot I'm in now. I don't catch anything. You know, it's pretty fa favorable. Yeah, this is a fish just fish just rolled on it. I don't think he has it though. Yeah, maybe he does. Maybe he does. Oh, it was a good size fish probably because this broke my line. So I'm pretty sure that that fish was a pickerel. Matter of fact, his line it's bit pretty clean um, I did see um, it looked, which looked, looked to be a, a, a pickerel move on it and it kind of made a swirl on it so that's what happens it happens to me a lot when it's, when it's a big a big size pickerel they bite through this 20 pound test line very easily well thanks for watching and please subscribe bye